Update 11 is happening right now and we are currently waiting for the update to hit so we can go over these changes. As you can see, the servers are restarting. That means the update is finally hitting and we can go over these patch notes. All right, so immediately loading in after the update, we get some change logs right here. So it looks like this addition to the backrooms is going to be called the deep backrooms. So that's pretty cool. We're going to be exploring underground. So I guess it's the underground of the backrooms. I didn't know that was the thing. We got new pets, new eggs, limited huges. I hope these are the free to play ones. We also got a new backrooms key. So all those keys that we got from grinding the regular backrooms are no longer available. And then besides all that, we also got the secret boss fight, which we did see in the leaks from Big Game's Twitter yesterday. And then besides that, we also got these exclusive hoverboards, the new booths, the new exclusive egg, and then a refresh to the current forever packs. So it seems like there's a refresh to both the forever pack and the backrooms pack. So that's really cool. Let's immediately check the store and see what's up. So we got a free deep backrooms key. So we'll definitely take that before we head into the deep backrooms and see what's up. All right, so it does seem like they actually did remove the black hole egg from the exclusive shop completely. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a part of this forever pack. Obviously, we're going to have to wait and see for some people to go through these and open them up and see if they're in there. It's definitely still possible, but I don't want to make any assumptions. But I'm honestly surprised they didn't just keep it in the exclusive shop just because it was selling so good for them. And besides this new exclusive egg, let's check out the new hoverboards because I actually thought they were kind of cool this time. So we have this new mosaic hoverboard as well as the rich hoverboard and then the supercar. Honestly, nothing too crazy. I honestly thought they were a little better. These hoverboards are actually pretty boring, it seems to me. But that's enough of that. Let's actually head into these new deep back rooms and see what's in store for us. So as you can actually see, we have a whole new building. So it's not even the same building. And it says the deep back rooms on the outside. So it sounds like we're going to head right in. So let's see what's up. So initially loading in, we start off in the same area. And I guess we have to go down through this garage door. All right, so to enter it, it actually seems like we have to pay coins and it's not too many coins. As you can see, I have 146 million. So 1.25 million is pretty much nothing. I wonder if there's gonna be like deeper and deeper back rooms you can go to. Let's head over and first check out this brand new egg. So as you can see, these are all of those pets that we saw behind Preston in that leak from big games yesterday. And we could also see the brand new free to play huge, which is the night terror cat. So that looks pretty sick. I'm honestly pretty curious at how good these power pets are. We are definitely going to have to try to get those, especially with the new boss fight, if we want to actually do damage. And then we also have these brand new chests that apparently are supposed to give you decent loot and encourage you to actually keep going through the back rooms. So let's actually see what we can get. And it looks like we got pretty much nothing. So as you guys probably could have guessed, it's pretty trash, but we'll keep moving forward. I'm just hoping we can actually find one of those 100x eggs like right away. That would give us so much benefit to doing this. I actually forgot I need to equip my pets and have them auto farm. Wait a second, my pets are actually doing absolutely nothing to this area. We actually might have to go ahead and hatch some of those new pets just so my pets can do more damage because they are doing absolutely nothing here. But we'll keep moving on. Now, one thing they didn't put in the in-game patch notes is we actually have footsteps now in the game so you can actually see where you came from, which is actually really cool, especially for people that easily get lost. That is huge, so you can pretty much just trace back your steps and see where you came from so you don't end up going in a circle. That is really cool. I like that addition from big games. Now we found this 3x huge chance egg, so we're just gonna open this right away just so we can hopefully get some good stat pets. All right, so I opened quite a few of these stat pets. I'm not sure if I got anything good. I couldn't really tell. It looks like I didn't get anything that was higher than what I already had. So our current best is still this Rainbow Ender Hades. So hopefully we can just keep moving forward and not need too strong of stat pets for now. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. But when I was walking across this, the floor was falling out. Now I did see something over here. I just want to make sure it's nothing. So I don't walk past anything. All right, so we came across this obstacle here. It looks like nothing too... Cr oh, okay. Well, let's just try to go around this. Let's be smart about this. Well, this one doesn't even go that far. And there's nothing at the end. All right, so I came across this new puzzle room, which is actually pretty sick. It's kind of like that Fall Guys game mode where you need to look at the color here, and that's the one color that's not going to disappear. Now, obviously, this isn't like a puzzle to do anything, but it's still a pretty cool little thing that they did. Just follow the color on the wall, and that's going to be the one that doesn't disappear. Now, we came across another 3x egg. I'm really hoping we could find something better than this. 
another little trap room here with the oh my goodness what the heck why is there a blue cat and it's following me look it's following me with its eyes that's so creepy what's this squid thing down here isn't that that boss fight that we're gonna have to do soon i'm wondering if this blue cat's gonna attack me if i walk over here maybe not maybe it just watches somehow that's even creepier that it just watches and doesn't even attack you oh my god oh my god oh my god guys i walked over here and there was nothing here and i turn around and it's just sitting there watching me again like will it attack me can i all right i'm gonna get out of here we're gonna keep looking for some stuff all right so i was just sitting in the hallway for a minute and i noticed that the chests in the halls actually do just respawn i don't know if i'm just going crazy but i keep seeing that blue cat following us everywhere we must keep going though we actually need some of these new keys because it just dawned on me even if we find a locked door down here we're not going to be able to open it because we don't have the new key so hopefully we can find an area where we can actually do damage i'll pull my pets off and put them over here hopefully they actually start doing something all right we got our pets set up here they're still not doing a ton of damage so i don't know if we're actually going to be able to get a key or not but let's just keep moving forward and find some of the new stuff so here's a new little room that we haven't seen before looks like it says big games in the little blocks so that's kind of cool see look oh no oh wait i forgot we actually have a key so we can actually open this i forgot we got one from the back rooms pack what is this this is like that other diamonds room let's see how much diamonds it actually gives you okay i can't even pay 150k wait that's actually busted well that was that one was only 6k 18k all right let me break this one and see 122k just from that big one does this actually respawn it looks like it's a zone where the diamonds respawn this might actually be busted i wonder if those exploiters we saw with the balloons might be able to just find these rooms and teleport and get a ton of free diamonds i'm not trying to give anybody ideas but that is a lot of diamonds just to get from this area let's keep moving forward that was our only key though that's the problem of course we use our only key and all it is is a diamond room so we can't even get access to a hundred x egg if we even find it all right so we got another pop cat room here i wonder if you could you can't fall through the floor like you could with the other one so not as cool what is this room there's just a broom with bouncing balls everywhere all right big names and they kill you what the heck what kind of bouncing balls are those we're gonna keep going which way did i go? oh look we can see our footsteps that's good let's uh keep going this way then i see a brand new dandelion room doesn't look like there's anything to this room it's a little disappointing the water doesn't hurt you the flowers are just normal all right so we have this little obstacle course over here but i also saw some stuff this way so we're gonna go here and check it out first that's a nice boulder all right and moving on okay well, at least we got another egg here and it's only 3x again i think i have some of the worst back rooms luck because i never find the good eggs maybe i should change up my enchant books to only be damage for this build i think i use this build when i try to grind the new areas so this is probably going to be good because it's got two crits two strong pets and overall just seems better the pets are doing absolutely nothing right now that's so annoying we desperately need to get one of these keys because i'm going to be so angry if we find another locked door and we're not going to be able to open it that would absolutely suck all right so i actually found one of these areas that only has the small coins and i'm actually grinding coins like crazy right now so this is perfect hopefully because there's a ton of breakables here i can actually break them quick enough to actually get one of the new keys so that is pretty awesome let's keep moving forward i'm trying to find that new boss area so we can absolutely destroy it we found a 5x hatch chance that's not bad we'll open that a little bit just to try to get some of the new stuff hopefully we can get some damage buffs to our setup all right so i found this new air is that preston is this squid games what is this no way they made a red light green light game oh i wasn't even i stopped moving i like how it gives you the yellow light okay okay you oh okay you really need to stop exactly when you see the yellow light they do not play about this preston will murk you i'm pre-stopping i'm not giving him any chances this greedy mother all right we're gonna be calm we're gonna be cordial oh i just need to get past this big guy oh God. what is going on I, there's no way i can't beat a kid's game right now all right let's keep going all right we finally we finally beat it and i thought there was gonna be something special back here but there was absolutely nothing it was just another one of the regular chests it also seems like you can't claim too many of these so hopefully that's a good deterrent from exploiters just teleporting around claiming these things especially because they just give you raw diamonds 
So that's actually a good thing on big games part. Oh my goodness, there's no way we actually found the boss fight. All right, wait, wait, wait. We actually got to make a setup here really quickly. So let's get rid of all the coins and chance on our books. So first of all, let's remove fortune. Let's remove all the coins. We already got both of the damage things is the only problem. I bet actually those corruption books that are in the backrooms pack are actually super good for this. But I think actually for this boss fight, the tap power books would actually be pretty decent. So we're going to enable them except we only have the tier seven version. So that's quite unfortunate. And then honestly, I hate to say it, but tap teamwork is also probably pretty good because tap damage might actually help to destroy this thing. So let's actually go ahead and do it. As you can see, the tap teamwork is actually proccing on him. So it does work. I bet that corruption enchant is actually super OP for this boss fight. So hopefully we actually get some good stuff from destroying this guy. And if we do, maybe we could potentially go and buy some of those corruption enchants. I might have been wrong about the usefulness of that enchant. So hopefully it actually does work on this boss. All right. So these large chests actually spawned. I'm not sure if they like spawn on a timer or what's up with that. But we're going to destroy one of these and just see what kind of loot we get. And then we'll go back to fighting the boss. All right, so we're almost done destroying this chest. This actually took quite a while. Hopefully it's worth it and we didn't just waste our time. All right, so you actually... Whoa, 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 wait. Wait, we actually get the deep backroom keys from destroying the chest. Let's actually destroy the rest of these just so we can get all of those keys just in case we find multiple doors. All right, so that time around, we didn't get any of the keys. So we're going to just destroy the rest of these. It's actually a lot faster when I actually get my pets on it. Who would have thought? But... Oh man, we didn't get another key from that one either. So maybe we just got lucky this time around. That's quite unfortunate. So it turns out when the boss spawns these chests, you actually have to break them or you can't do any damage to the boss itself. I'm a little slow and I didn't even realize that first time. So that's quite unfortunate, but at least I could tell you guys about it. So there's a plus. And man, we really didn't get any of the new keys from those four chests. We must have just gotten really lucky on that first chest, but... At least you guys know that you can get the keys from there if you actually do need some. So honestly, these chests that spawn are very good loot. So I'm actually pretty happy with this mini game. It's kind of a cool thing to find if you are exploring the back rooms. You also find a lot of these TNT charms and stuff. So I don't know what that's about. Wait, what the heck was that? We got like three boost slot vouchers and one of the new keys from that one. That was crazy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This boss fight is actually pretty OP. I'm not sure if you could just wait here after you kill it and have it respawn or something. But if you can, that might actually be pretty OP to just keep coming back and killing it every time it respawns so you can destroy all those chests. You also have a chance at getting the night terror cat. So that's pretty cool. And we killed it. And we pretty much just got the regular loot that you get from the chest. So it turns out the boss chest boss actually does respawn every 15 minutes. So that's actually not too bad. I kind of want to just stay here and to keep fighting it every time it spawns. That is pretty exciting. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with that boss fight. That is a very cool part of the update. All right, so I found this new puzzle room and it looks like I just got to go ahead and flip all the switches on and hopefully that will unlock this gate. I think this is the last one over here. You just got to click on it. It doesn't look like it's clickable, but it is. Oh, and then there's this one hiding over here as well. Okay, so if you want to unlock that puzzle, that is how you do that one. And yes, before you guys ask, this huge right here that says first juicer, that is the first rainbow huge I ever got and it is level 99 so this is one of my grinding accounts so that's why i'm using it for this video because i have a lot of good pets on here all right so we found this puzzle room as well and it seems like we need to complete this puzzle in order to unlock the egg but it turns out the egg in this one is only 10x so that's not too good at all but i don't think i'm even gonna solve this puzzle i'm just gonna set up my pets here to grind honestly and i'm just gonna go find an egg and start to open it so i'll probably just end the video here I wish you guys luck in opening the brand new Night Terror Cat. I'm going to try to open an egg right now and try to get it for myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.